guys, Lucas Rogers speaking from the Rogers Property Group. I hope you're well and thanks for joining us today. Uh, I've had a, a, an email from a client just requesting some information on how to calculate yield on the property. Well, I'd like to expand on that and go further into yield and say, well, what's our overall return on our property? And then we'll discuss yield after that. Well, firstly, what we do when we look at our overall return on our investment, a lot of people refer to it as to how much rent they're getting. Oh, I'm getting a return on investment of $500 a week. Well, that's not exactly correct because overall return is made up of two different things. The first thing is, is typically how much rent we're getting or our, what we refer to as our yield, okay? And the second part of our return is our capital growth that we might be receiving on our property. Now, yield or overall return is typically um, described in a percentage basis. So we might be getting an overall return of say 13%. And that's gonna be made up of, say, 8% in capital growth and a 5% rental yield. And that gives us our overall return of 13%. So when we're calculating our yield, how do we actually do that? Well, what we do is we say, well, what's our rental return? Our rental return might be $500 per week. So we times that by the amount of weeks in the year, which is 52, and that's gonna give us our overall rental figure for our whole year. Then what we do is we compare that to the value of the property. So you might be getting, say, a 5% yield, 4% yield on the overall value of your property. Then what we can do is we can also look at yield on when the property was purchased, so over the original purchase price, or we can look at it on our current basis. Now, it's great to look at our uh, our yield as to when we purchased the property. So you might've purchased a property 10 years old, 10 years ago, I should say, and you've paid $500,000 for that property. Now, 10 years on, that property's worth a million dollars and you're getting close to $1,000 a week in rent on it, but you only paid $500,000 for it, $500, for it. So therefore your return on your initial investment is, or your yield on your initial investment is very, very good. Uh, we typically though calculate yields out on current asset values. So we look at our current asset value, we work at our overall rent, and then what we do is we divide our rent, our overall rent, by the value of our property, and that gives us our yield as a percentage. Then what we do is we can also attach our capital growth to that. So if we're getting a 5% yield and an 8% capital growth, well, our overall return is 13%. And this is really important when we're analyzing different investments. We wanna know exactly what our yield is as a percentage, and we also wanna try and uh, predict or have a good idea as to what we're gonna get in capital growth. Now, it's easy to predict yield because we can look around and see what other people are getting in rent. Capital growth's a little bit trickier because that's really a prediction as to what's in the future. But great things to know. So thank you for that question. And guys, if you've got any more questions regarding property, please email them in. I'm happy to answer those for you. Take care and happy investing.